Good morning, it's Hiker Dude Dad, and I am here at Swan Harbor Farm. Uh, this is just a random all trails find. I was looking for trails near the Chesapeake Bay. We're down here in Hartford County, Maryland. And this is kind of a park, but it's also a working farm, which is kind of odd. I am walking down towards the Chesapeake Bay right now because I wanted to find some uh, water to hang out by but there are vast open expanses here woods around the edge and uh, and people working on a farm <laughs> let's go So we found a sign for a fishing pier, uh, myself and a gentleman on a bike with fishing rods. It's his first time here too. Beautiful garden here. Uh, but he was riding around up by this gazebo, we'll check that out in a bit, but um, I think I found the, found the path for him, either that or he's going to roll right off the pier. Uh, but I think it's going down to a fishing pier here. Yeah, so just to the left of the gazebo, this path does come down to an awesome fishing pier. Alright, so we are on the upper Chesapeake Bay. Susquehanna River comes in here. Earlier today we were up here at Susquehanna State Park. Next stop is Haver de Grace for crab cakes, but we are right here at Swan Harbor Farm. Swan Creek is down here. Across the way is Elk Neck State Park. I want to get there again very soon. I visited there once before I started filming for the channel. It was literally a few, like a week before the pandemic hit. Doc took me there for my birthday to uh, Chesapeake City and we went down to Elk Neck, Elk Neck State Park to look around. The bottom tip of that peninsula is closed right now, uh, probably for the next year, but there's a lighthouse down there and I would love to go there and check it out, but it's just under construction. So we're up here at the top of the bay and then it heads down towards Baltimore and, and all that. So looking north, Chesapeake up to Susquehanna River. And out towards Baltimore.
we're gonna leave uh, the pier here, check out the rest of the farm. Family down there just reeled in a bass. It's pretty exciting. Butterfly down here on the beach. So the pier that we were on is Lee's Pier. You can pause and read this if you wanna know about Bob Lee Geddes. But we are gonna check out all the pollinators on these flowers. Butterflies, couple bumblebees, regular bees. Oh, this is awesome. Over there too, lots of pollinators here. Swan Harbor Farm is all right. I mean, great place if you're gonna come here and fish off Lee's Pier. Uh, great place if you're gonna have a wedding. There's a big white tent set up up there signs on the way in for a wedding but also for this view of the bay oh man so what i needed today is what i needed so the fellow on the pier probably caught a striped bass known locally as a rockfish maryland state fish striped bass are found along the atlantic coast from canada to florida but the Chessie and its tributaries are their primary spawning and nursery areas. Awesome. I've done a lot of hiking on a lot of surfaces, but uh, rarely a brick road. So yeah, following the orange brick road, it's gonna be a big wedding here this weekend. Gardeners are out in front of this fancy house. Kind of reminds me of the Wedding Crashers house, which I believe was also in Maryland because crab cakes and football that's what Maryland does so here's another board that you can pause to read these sections but this farm began in 1659, Colonel Nathaniel UT received a land grant from Lord Baltimore and started this farm. Crazy. Saw a bird watcher fellow come to the parking lot right next to me and he stopped under this osprey nest. He was walking under it. I walked under it twice and didn't hear or see anything and didn't even look up. And then he heard something, turned around. I saw him turn around. So yeah, look at that osprey up there. All right, so there are other trails here to explore. Another one that goes down by the water, but I know my body and it's time for crab cakes. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 